Okay, now let's have a quick tour of the COVID analysis dashboard. Here we have two filters, continents and countries. If we drill into the countries, we have the six continents. And if we select one of the continents, Europe for instance, we see that the breakdown by Europe is displayed in the visuals and also all the European countries are then filtered in our country's filter. So if we want to drill into any of the European countries, we could select say Spain and that gives us that as the title of the report and we have the breakdown by Spain. Okay, and clear the filter using the top right corner of the filter and using that as well to clear the selection. So we are back to all the countries. In this right section here, we have all the data sources that have been used to prepare this report. So we have John Hopkins from the European Centre and Worldometer. This has all been hyperlinked. So if you click on the hyperlink, it will take you to the location of the files that have been used to build this report. Here we have the creator of the report, Adewa Laudo, and the website. If you clicked on this website, it will take you to a live refresh of the report, which is refreshed every other hour. So that's www.adewalaudo.tech. Here we have the last date and time this report was refreshed. And that's 17th of April, 2020, 10.43 GMT. And you could also resolve, resolve that time zone to your time zone. The top section of this report gives all the stats we are tracking for COVID. We have the total cases and we have that in comparison to yesterday's active cases and that's yesterday's closed cases to date and yesterday's new cases today and that's based on that date so for the 17th of april we had this total number of new cases total recovered as well and deaths the active cases makes up the the closed cases makes up the recovered and total deaths. And the percentage of recovered is a percentage of closed case and the total death is a percentage of closed cases. If we move on to the this section of the report, we have a table made up of all the countries and all the stats here. So this is just another view, but then we have it by country. And this is ordered by the country with the highest total deaths. So here we see US as having the highest number of deaths around the world. And we see the second highest, and that goes all the way down. If we want to go to the bottom of this table, we scroll down, use the scroll bar, and if we want to use the arrow instead, we could click that up, down, and there. Okay. Also, if you want to have a different view of this table, you could right click this blank space and you have show us table, click on it, and that gives you this different view where you have it laid out in a tabular way. And you could also scroll down and you have your breakdown by country. Click on the back to report button. We also can filter the whole report by clicking on the country here. So for instance, if I clicked on Spain, that would give me the breakdown for Spain across the whole report. And if I clicked on it again, that removes the filter. 
cool. If we come here now, this is a breakdown of total cases by country. The smallest bubble gives the smallest number of cases, while the biggest bubble gives the highest. Here we see USA as having the highest number of cases. And if we place our mouse just right on top of the bubble, we then get the breakdown of all the different stats for that country. We could drill into the map to get more view on the different countries and place our mouse right there. Also, we could use this map as a filter as well. So if we clicked on the US bubble, that will give us a breakdown of US as well. So we have quite a few filters we could play around with in the report. In this lower section here, we have two visuals overlaid. We have the daily breakdown of cases and deaths, and we have the cumulative breakdown of cases and deaths. Here we have the daily, because that has new cases by day, new deaths by day. So that's the daily visual here. And here we could see the lowest and the highest peak. So looking at this visual now, we can see that the highest case of COVID since it started occurred on the 16th of April, where we have over 9,000 deaths and 96,000 new cases on the 16th of April. Okay, if we also want to have a different view or drill into it just to have a better view to drill into each day you could scroll your mouse and scroll it in move to the area you want to spread out you scroll it in you keep scrolling and it gives you that daily view as well also if we clicked on the cumulative just to have a cumulative view of what's happening we can see we're steadily getting to that peak, all right? And then you could also use your mouse, scroll in and out, go to the area, move, and then that gives you a better view, all right? And scroll in as well. We go back to our daily view, and we have that. Okay, in this corner here, we have the breakdown of top 20 countries by the metric that is selected here. In this instance, we have new cases being selected. And that's why it is highlighted in blue. If we select active cases, we see the top 20 countries with the active cases and here we have US as the highest and Japan as the lowest for the top 20 active cases. If we click on death as well, we see that changes color just to depict the metric. And we also have the US as the highest deaths there, the top 20. And the same applies for the other metrics. And you see the title of the visual does change as you click on your metric. Okay. Right. And yes. So we have the same layout here as well. We have the percentage of deaths and the percentage of recovered for top 20 countries. Again, we could apply a filter on continent so we could actually see in Europe, for instance, the top 20 countries in Europe. That gives that breakdown. And we could clear our filter. In this section here, we are comparing COVID against other outbreaks. And we can see that COVID's mortality rate and death rates is almost catching up with the swine 
pandemic, which happened spring 2009 to spring 2010. So we, we, we just keep tracking this and see how, how it's doing, but we do see that COVID does have um, higher mortality rate than the swine flu. And that will be the quick tour of the COVID analysis dashboard. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the section below or go to adebolaudo.tech website to leave your comments as well. Thank you.